Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Remember, if you like it, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and tell your friends. It's Brie OCD time, baby. We are in day one of week 10. We are seven weeks out from my powerlifting meet. We are in the last week of the strength phase. And I was supposed to squat eight by one today at 195 high bar, which is a little tougher supposedly. So high bar, I did two reps at that weight and she was like, go up to 200 baby. And I did it and that's technically a PR for me for high bar back squats. So I did six by one at 200. I had little Jen spotting me, today's her birthday, happy birthday. Uh, so today was a great day, then the second half, we did a 10 minute EMOM, which means every minute on the minute with three per side dumbbell snatch and five burpees. So we did that for 10 rounds. And then we had a 45 second plank finisher for five rounds. That was really tough. So day one, last week of the strength training before the deload week and then peaking. Let's go. So I stepped on the scale this morning and I was 106.3, which is 48.2 and a half kilograms. I gotta be 48. However, I'm questioning the accuracy of my scale because I stepped on the scale Tuesday morning. I haven't been doing Monday because it's right after the weekend. I stepped on Tuesday morning and I was 106.6 .6 and I'm like, that's the same as last week. The way I ate, I don't think that sounds about right. So I went on Wednesday again and I was 106.3, which is 0.3, which isn't you know that much, but in the scheme of things, it is. So we're gonna do a little test and we're gonna put a 20 pound weight on that scale and see how it is. So let's get to it. Okay, so I got the scale where I normally put it. I'm gonna give it a shop tap. It's from Costco, Weight Watcher scale here. I got this 20 pound weight. We're gonna put it on, see what this baby weighs. It's the moment of truth. Moment of truth. 20 on the dot, booyah. Must mean I'm 106.3, let's go. Week 10, day two. I just went and did all the upper body things. My arms are shaking. Uh, I was supposed to go to muscle class tonight, but since notaries are off the hook and I have a couple in the pipeline waiting for today, I want to just get her done at 24 hour. So I did eight bench press for five sets, all paused. It felt heavy today. Uh, it felt heavy. So I did uh, 90 pounds for all of those five sets. And the last one was a shaky rep. But uh, anyways, I did it. And then it was 10 seated barbell strip press. So I just did that with the 35 pound bar because I knew by the end it was gonna get pretty shaky there, especially after bench. And then there was as many rounds as possible of 12 dumbbell bench press. Uh, I did cable face pulls because I was at 24 hour ring dips. And so I just did regular dips. So there was 12 reps of each of those as many rounds as possible. And I just did four rounds each because I was at 24 hour day two in the books. My arms are toasted. So toasted. Day three, happy hump day. It's Wednesday y'all. And I'm going to pee my pants. I should have went before I left the gym just now. But uh, I squatted today 200 by 3. Um, Jen had mentioned that did I really need a spot if I had the spotter arms and felt comfortable, of course. And so today I went without one because when I got up to 190, it felt damn good. I wasn't grinding at all. So I did it. I did it. I went back down to 175 for five sets of four. So I'm building these little breadsticks, baby. And all of that felt really good. Then I went over the bench and I was a little hesitant. I'm sore from yesterday's bench, but uh, I hit my 115 by four. Vince came running like a knight in shining armor to spot me for it. And then I went back down to 110 for five sets of four, all paused. And I thought Brenna was nuts, but she wasn't because I did it. Yeah. Then I went over to deadlifts today, so I did all the things. Off the three inch blocks, somewhere between 245 to 265. And if you remember last week, I only did two sets at 245 and the rest were at 225 because they felt like crap. Today felt better. I'm definitely gonna go ice my back after my massage right now. But uh, I got up to 255 by three 
and then went back down to 245 for all the rest of the sets because my back conventional I, i'm not gonna be sad to say goodbye to conventional coming up here soon but i got up to 255 by three and then did five other sets at 245 by three so some kid was joking with me that i was hogging all the blue plates i was like yeah that's right that's right, 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 right. Anywho, today was a good day, heading to get a massage, and then I got signings all day and blog work at BreeOCD.com. Uh, but that's it. Day three in the books. Let's go. Day four, I skipped the gym today. My day off was yesterday, and I skipped today because my right mid-back is not feeling good. Those conventional deads... Uh, I'm glad they're going to be off the menu because something's funky with the right mid-back. Good news is my left low back that normally is cranky feels great. But uh, so I skipped today. I just did some yoga with Adrian yesterday and today. And now I am about to head into the Metro Caravan, which is downtown San Diego, and present my notary business to everybody. So I'm nervous. Wish me luck. Day four in the books. Pray for my back. Love you. Bye. <music> Day five, today was a weird day because as you know, my back has been hurting me on the right side, my mid back. Uh, so I talked to Brenda today and she thinks maybe it's something to do with my lat, but who knows? So I was just gonna see how I felt and squats felt okay. So I did them, I did my 165 pause squats, four by four. So those felt pretty good. I don't know how they're gonna feel later today. But uh, then I went into bench and I was like, let me see how I feel because the arch might jack with my back. And uh, mom, don't worry if you're watching this. But uh, I hit my top set of 130 by one. I haven't hit that in a really, really long time. It's not a PR for me, but I haven't hit that in a long time. So it is kind of a PR. It looked a little janky. My arms were a little uneven, but it felt good. Went back down to 120 for one and then went down to 115 for three sets of two. So bench is feeling pretty strong. I mean, you never know a bench. Five pounds changes a whole world of difference. Uh, and then I went to deadlifts, but that's what I was most nervous about because that's how I kind of yanked the right side in the first place was those conventional dead. So I just didn't want to strain anything. We're going into a deload week next week. So, you know, it's the perfect time to rest it. I got to go call my massage Kimberly and get a a massage in the books, go to the chiropractor and then hit up this deload week and just rest up before peaking. Remember, if you like my channel, subscribe, give me a thumbs up and tell your friends. That's a wrap, folks. Seven weeks down in the books. We're going into a deload week and then peaking, baby. I'm afraid, but I'm excited because I want to do things I've never done before. So if you want to keep track, if you want to follow along with me and experience all of this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up until your friends.